Hello there and it's the third week and this week we are looking at how to draw the human eye. Last week you did the quick thing of the face and I didn't give you any instructions about it because it was a shut eye memory experience. You know, how do you create an image inside your head and hold on to it and draw later on? So it's the start of that exercise. So this week we're looking at the human eye and I'll use the skeleton here, Fritz. So you can see here the position of the eye here. It's a socket. So it holds a ball like a ping pong ball goes inside there. So it's important when you're doing the eye to remember that it's got a round shape like a sphere like a football, like a baseball, like a tennis ball. It is round. So getting that sense of it, having that quality of three dimensions is important for serious professional art. Okay, so, you know, there it is. It's a, we'll do it, we'll start doing it here. Can you all see? Never sure how this camera takes it all in. So just start it off, you know, if you want to draw it and remove, you know, with an eraser, remove bits later on that aren't necessary. So it's a ball, a sphere. It's got a dark part in the middle. Every eye is a slightly different color blue, brown, green, hazel. I've even known people have two different, uh, you know, one eye is one color and one eye is the other color. David Bowie, the uh, English um, star, music pop star, he had that two different, different eyes. So I'm going to do the pupil in the middle there and it's the blackest part of your body. I mean it's uh, jet black. It's a wonderful strong thing there in the middle and then you have the eye whatever shade it's going to be there. Obviously at this time you're just going to be working hopefully you've got a pencil. If you're buying pencils and I have one student who went out and bought a box full of pencils from uh, Amazon and uh, they come with numbers on the end of the pencil. This one is an 8B. That means that pencil is very soft, very soft. And if it was 8H, hard. So H hard, B soft. That's what you need to remember. And uh, if you're going to buy pencils, a soft pencil is better for art. You know, something like a 4B, 6B, or in this case 8B, nice soft pencils that you can do shading with. Later on we'll come to do colour in this exercise when we do the painting and hopefully by now most of you have got the box of art supplies which is available in Blick in Harlem. It's, uh, you know, just if you're still curious about that and don't know what I'm talking about, email or text me and I'll tell you everything you need to know, okay? So the eye there, and we'll shadow it in a little bit, you know, but not too much, okay? Now, over the eye are the protective eyelids. So they're coming here, they can close and open like that. So you want to have the eyelid curling round. You know, a lot of people who are amateurs do an eye like that, two shapes like that, and then just a, a blot in the middle. You know, it looks like a kind of child's drawing of an eye. So as you're in an adult education college, you're learning how to draw like an adult professionally with a sense of awareness of the world. So that really shows not much awareness. It's just a basic blob shape. This is going to show more understanding of what the thing is. 
what is what makes a good artist good art is really somebody who is attempting to make sense of the world and really is using their brain to look into things they may not talk brilliantly but they can create art brilliantly and that's what makes them an artist they're using it to explore to find out to create and that's what art should be exploration always finding out something so let's find out how this eye goes now i think i'm going to have a look at my eye so if you have the mirror use it to look at your own eye will you do this and i'm going to see it cur curls round the eyelid curls round so can you see this it's going to curl i'm doing a curling shape you see that curling round curling round curling curling so it's not straight like that thing it's there and then at the end of the eye there's the tear duct that little funny piece here that's kind of got pinkish flesh in it can you see that and then just goes straight down there and then it curls around here so i'm exploring this eye trying to find out about it what is an eye you see art is really about seeing a lot of people look but they don't see everything is flat for them but if you are seeing as well as looking you see more dimensions of life you see you can see more that's going on so you want to be a person who's seeing not just an empty looking are you able to see so curling round again, the bottom, I'm going to do, you know, there's a, it's a little bit, you can see the skin here, it's a little bit, uh, the eyelid is a little bit thick, and at the top there's a shadow here, little shadow coming cast down by the eye, and uh, when you get to my age, or even younger, you get a... <laughs> get a little bag under your eye I'll do a couple of the crow's feet or laughter lines laughter lines sounds a lot nicer than crow's feet I'll do the laughter lines there's the laughter lines ha 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 they're laughing so laughter lines they're shading their eye bang off it goes so there's one eye. Now, I'm just going to turn this piece of paper over and give you a little bit of instruction about how to do two eyes, you know, and we'll go over this later on as the weeks progress. But if you do one eye, I'm going to do this quick compared to that last thing. Now, when you're scaling up a face, here's one eye quickly done. If you're doing a face Aye, come on out ruler there we are now to get the other eye okay because a lot of people when they draw and they're beginners that you know they'll they'll do both the eyes like right beside each other looking like some cartoon or uh, even worse you know they'll put can you see this they'll put i've seen people put the eyes on either side of the head like that i mean that looks like something out of uh, this you know <laughs> another planet so to get the eyes in the right position, how do you do it? Take that eye and measure it. You know, there it is, three and a half inches. And then take that three and a half inches. Okay, so that's that length of the eye was three and a half inches. And then I take three and a half inches. And that's where I'm going to start the other eye. Does that make sense? So you get that eye, three and a half inches, and then take three and a half inches there. And that's where the other eye is going to start. So it's like this between each, between one eye and the other eye is like the same, the same um, length as one eye. So there you have it. So 
that will get you the position of the eyes and I'll go into the nose and everything over the next week. I'm not going to overload you with information because it's a beginner's class and it's easy for me to talk about a lot of things very quickly and kind of drown you in information but I'm not that kind of person. I like to teach people how to swim not drown people, not teach them how to drown in information by overload. I am the opposite. I wish to give clear information so that you can learn how to move your own arms and float on the water of art. So that's it. So for this week you had uh, one eye which is a ball shape. It's got the pupil in the middle and then it's got the curving curve of the uh, eyelids. The shadowing, little shadowing here and that business. And then you had, after you draw the eyes, you're going, if you want to do another eye, you get, measure the distance of that eye, three and a half inches, and then take that three and a half inches from the edge there and that's where you'll start the other eyes. Okay, I hope that makes perfect sense. So one eye, the length of the eye is where you start the other eye. So they're like three eyes, one, two, three. Okay, any questions about this, just ask me. I know people are able to get confused even if the information is simple so there's no shame in asking me to clarify things. And uh, you, as you know, I'll text you. I'm quicker with texts than emails because I'm not sitting looking at the emails 24 seven, but I do have my, uh, as we all do nowadays, I do have my iPhone around. So just feel free to ask me. So today is the eye, it's a round ball, curving eyelids pupil in the middle, tear duct shadowing, and then one eye, measure it three and a half inches, and then that three and a half inches is where you start the other eye. So there, once again repeating, the length of the eye, three and a half inches, then take that three and a half inches, bang, that spot there is where you begin the other eye. Okay, okay, I'm repeating all that stuff. Probably too much, but no harm in that. You, you know, you are learning. Ah! So before this completely falls down, I'm just holding it with a finger. I will stop this week because we're in the minute of a, a dramatic event. <laughs> Literally, the easel's going. Look at it. Bang, bang. So send this drawing of an eye in by next week. Uh, you've got one week to do it. Don't wait, don't wait until the last minute. Get it in as soon as you do it. It shouldn't take very long. If you want to do the two eyes measuring it, you can. And we're going to be doing each part of the face and fitting it together over the next few weeks. So that's it for this week. This is the third week and it is the human eye. How to do it and make it into an effective looking three-dimensional eye. So... Oh, I'm okay, it stopped. Bye for now.